What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's Fury here and in this special segment during the middle of the week we have some sudden news. Advanced Guild Labs just dropped within a sudden update just today um, and it's been a little bit interesting. Uh, so I wanted to quickly cover some of the nodes and how these Advanced Guild Labs are actually working. So stay tuned everyone because we're starting now. I wanna be immortal like a god in the sky. I wanna be a silk flower. So from your main menu, uh, just quickly so we can find out where they are, it's you're gonna have to go into your guild menu lab, go into the lab itself, and then you'll notice down here you'll have two dots and your arrow to turn over to page two. Those of you who already have your guild labs filled out um, for each individual class, you'll notice that you'll have your second page available. For those newer players though, you need to fill out the entire node before you can really reap the benefits of the second page. So don't really uh, pre preoccupy yourself with these updates. Not really going to come into impact yet. You really want to focus on filling out your first page because these buffs are very strong. Um, so for us here, we're looking at the newer one. You'll see the nice little spinning animation. It's quite neat. Um, you'll notice that you're going to have damage up versus each particular class in the faction, except against your own. So, like, a warrior here will not do more damage against other warriors. Um, just against, like, ranger, your mages, assassin, and priests, of course. And then you also have on the other side damage reduction against the mage, ranger, assassin, and priest. So, as you can notice here, uh, I have some notes on some stats on where you can like sort of really focus on, but these upgrades are a little expensive. You're going to be looking at about 273,000 guild coins uh, per completed node, up to 60. Um, and then like, what, 47 million gold? You want to choose these carefully, like even here, I've been saving for almost a year now. This is... Uh, yeah, it's been quite a while, and I made some mistakes because I did spend some in the guild shop uh, a while back. But here's what I've been just collecting almost 700, like what, three quarters of a million. Um, just been chilling with this amount, but it's not going to be enough. I can probably fill up, what, three completed nodes, maybe four? I'm really pushing it. Um, so with these upgrades, I really want to focus them um, on some characters that do more damage for my team in pve and you know could carry over into pvp modes the characters that i'm mainly looking at here are those in the warrior faction because you have your joan you have your kratos you have your mika you have your fenrir you have uriel you have other characters that could be coming down the pipeline as well warriors just seem to be the better choices for your pve damage sources so when doing your damage against practical works bosses, tests, in-house exams, those characters are going to be doing a bit more. Um, and since in PvP you have a lot of mage girls, ranger girls, priest girls being deployed, I don't want your Joan and your Kratoses to be doing more damage against enemy Nephilims, for sure. So you definitely want to consider that. Um, that's just some of the recommendations I have here. The damage reduction you can kind of just ignore for now. Damage reduction is working uh, in a sense like the umbrella damage reduction and some of the little upgrades that you have there. It only works on attack based. So HP percent damages like from Nephilim's equilibrium marks. They're going to take those entire chunks out. Damage from Vivian's Galaxy Link. It's still going to work the exact same way. Ben Rear's 20-25% like damage uh, HP whenever she procs three blocks it's still going to go through um, so this damage reduction is only going to really work against girls doing attack base such as like Joan somewhat Kratos because she does both um, Mika's massive critical blast Fenrir's just regular attacks uh, and so forth um, so don't really think that it's damage depletion it is kind of a bummer that it didn't turn out that way but it is what it is. This is what Yuki's giving us for now. It might change in the future. Um, your attack or your, your damage increases, uh, like from this side of the screen here. This is going to function the same way as your anti-class antiques. Which is kind of nice for your extra damage in PvE modes. In PvP, you know, 
kind of nice to have an anti-class antique sometimes if you know who your opponent is. But you always want to be using a dedicated crit, you know, like Thorns, Chainblade. Um, in these cases, it is, since it's still a bit expensive, you want to be a little picky with how you go with your selection. That's why I definitely recommend starting off with Warrior Class, since you're going to be building those Jones and Kratos' and Mika's examples. So, looking at your damage versus Mage and damage up versus Priests could be very considerable. Just remember that if you damage up versus Priests, you're doing more damage to enemy Vivians, which in then turn are doing more damage back to you with those Galaxy Links. Um, so definitely watch out, unless you're really trying to wipe out that Vivian, um, then in that case, up this node. There are those updates out there. Uh, Yuki has confirmed uh, GM and personal GMs that they are looking to fix Vivian's Galaxy Link to where it does not penetrate shields. Um, but like, like bypassing overall. It'll ping, it won't go lethal and just kill the girl immediately. It'll ping and proc the shield. Um, that's not up yet, but it has been confirmed by these GMs to be uh, da coming down the pipeline. So you won't really have to worry about really killing yourself if you're doing too much damage to Vivians because now you have much more of a chance with more characters, which thank goodness, finally. Um, so definitely consider it. Definitely look look at Mage because you want to be doing more damage to those high damage reduction, damage depletion, Nephilims on enemy teams. Um, Ranger, if you're really struggling to fight against Mios, Rogues, even Apatase, you know, just to remove them off the board quicker. And then, of course, your Priests, so you can fight against Raphael's, Izanami's, Vivian's, you name it. Up next over here in Mages, um, if you're really deploying your own sets of Empress Saints, Valeras, Estels, which just released, um, you can definitely consider increasing damage against the warrior class. I think it's this one. Uh, that's the first one. So yeah, damage up versus warriors, because those are also being spammed out right now. The more popular factions in order are probably right now are Priests being first, everyone's trying to build Vivian. Warriors likely second, and then Nephilim is carrying the mage class right now, so that's why they're really much out there. But you'll see a much more variety of warriors out there, so definitely look at warriors first. Um, and then the third one that you can definitely consider upping is your ranger class, if you're really depending on your rogue as your damage. Um, this will not affect Apate's energy damage, but it'll just affect the basic damage that comes out of her, um, you know, because she will hit for a certain amount and then do bonus as energy. Um, you'll get the regular hit, but it's still going to be pretty low. Uh, so that's why you don't really want to look at Ranger, because again, these are very expensive investments you're making with your gold and your guild coins, and it's not very cheap to reverse them. You're, you're, you're spending 2,000 gems if you want to change your mind. Um, I think you do get the first one free. I believe I did not reset Mage already. Oh, it's going to work separately by page. Okay. So, let's see here real quick. I'm going to up my warrior versus mage. So, let's go ahead and see. I was at 752. It's going to take a little bit. Uh, I'm going up to 60. I want this maxed out, baby. Here, here we go. 30%. Um, if I were to try and reset, the first one is free in case you make a mistake. The second one will cost you 2,000 gems and so forth. Um, so definitely be careful. Um, but in my case here, I want my warriors to be doing more damage against mages. And then I think I'm also going to up mine against priests here soon. I want to test out my damage node versus warriors first. Um, so my Jones can be doing more damage, my Kratos's as well, um, against those pesky and the phylums. Um, so definitely consider that for your team. Of course, it will be on a base by base um scenario it's depending on what your team is working with that you want to go with this now to finish this sort of uh, thought up um look at here your per faction is going to end up costing you about what two million guild coins and about three hundred thousand what three hundred mil what no way I know I wrote this down, but this is still looking like a lot of gold here in my case. Over here for all five factions, 11 million guild coins, 2 billion gold. All right. 
Yeah, see, it's a it's a very hefty investment. We can be looking at what a couple years before at the rates we're earning guild coins that we finish this up. So be very careful with how you're selecting your nodes to fill up for these damage increases. You don't have to really worry about damage reduction right now, just because you will notice in PvP, a lot of the damage going out there is HP percent base, which is damage reduction against mages and rangers is not going to help you at all um if you were really struggling against a specific pve boss that has a class you know like contests or house exams you might as well just go ahead and do more damage to it and you know have the better offense be the best defense kind of case um just again because it's really expensive and i really want to emphasize that you want to hold off on the dr and go for the damage up versus the classes so again, if you have any questions on what kind of damage up functions best for your team, you can drop that down in the comment section. But I will have a link to the Transcension Discord server, which you will absolutely enjoy. That community is wonderful and they have a lot of infographics. The community is wonderful and everyone's very helpful. I'd like to see you there. And of course, I'm always here to answer any questions if you have any. If you enjoyed the content that we provide on this channel, I definitely appreciate a like. And if you want to subscribe for any further news, uh, we do have the Sky Sanctuary that's coming up in about two days. And then down here, you may have noticed earlier that there was a little Valigura that was trying to sell you some stuff. We'll be covering those as they keep coming back. So, of course, I'm very thankful for all of you watching. And remember, happy gaming.